Hey there, CJ Math students. So welcome to Notes 5.3, Part 1. Um, I wanted to go over a, a kind of what's really a, a, a one-step equation, uh, but that can be done in two steps before I introduce two steps. Um, so here we go. We're on the my turn practice part. So when you have these uh, fractions next to variables, uh, they're basically saying three-fifths times some number will give you negative six, right? Um, and so how do I do this in two steps? In two steps, I just go ahead and say, all right, I can first multiply both sides by five. In doing that, the fives cancel out here. This three X, I'll circle it here for you, kind of gets brought down together. So three X is equal to negative six times five is negative 30. And then we have a one step, right? And so in this part, all I have to do then is say, okay, if I have 3x equals negative 30, I'll divide by 3, divide by 3, remember my negative, and x in this case is equal to negative 10. Okay, so that's the way to do it in kind of two steps. Um, so let's try that one more time here. So first step is say, okay, denominator 4, I have times 4 times 4. That gets rid of the 4s, right? Because what, what is this really doing? 4 times 3 is 12, and then 12 divided by 4 is 3, and that's what we're left with, right? We're left with that 3x. So 3x is equal to, we have positive 12 here, and then again, we're just dividing by 3. So x is equal to 4. The reason why I wrote it in two steps is so that you could see that this is like the result of this right here. I wrote it in just kind of one step there. All right, now there's also a different way you can do it. And you can multiply by both sides by the reciprocal, uh, like flipping the fraction like when we do with division. So negative 2 thirds x is really going to say, okay, let's go ahead and multiply both sides by negative 3 over 2 times negative 3 over 2. What does that do? That gets rid of everything on this side, and you're left with x. And then you're going to say, okay, what is 12 times negative 3 over 2? Well, first that's 12 times negative 3, which is negative 36 over 2, and then divided by 2. What did I do here? I just did the 12 times the negative 3 to give me negative 36, and I kept that divided by 2. And x is equal to negative 36 divided by 2 is negative 18. So if I try that one more time here, I can do it in one swoop, right? Multiply by the reciprocal times negative 6 over 5, just flipping the fraction. Do it to both sides times negative 6 over 5. This cancels out everything. Right, because negative six times five is negative thirty, and five times six is uh, sorry, negative six times negative five is thirty, and five times six is thirty, and then thirty over thirty is just one, and one times y is just y. It's a very long way of saying okay, those just all cancel out. So negative ten times negative six over five, which is really if I did this, negative ten times negative six is sixty over five, and then y is just equal to twelve. Right, if you can do this part all in one step, just like in your head being like, all right, 10 times 6, 60, same signs, positive, divide by 5, give me to 12, you could skip this right here. But I just wanted to show you the progression. Okay? All right, now, um, on to our important stuff, uh, two-step equation steps. So just like uh, um, one step, we want to change any subtraction to adding the opposite. All right, that applies for both if I see something like minus to plus a negative and if I see minus minus change that becomes plus a positive right so find the side with the variable then I want you to move the constants away from the variable to isolate and then move the coefficients by um, division or multiplication to isolate the variable. Okay, I want to do uh, maybe two problems. So. Here we go. Uh, step one, draw your Tetris. Right? And we have, uh, this is will be step one of a one-step equation. We look for the constant. Basically, this is almost saying, like if I were to set this up a real-life explanation, this is saying you have uh, a bill, right? No matter what on that bill, you know, your bill 
cost you $26, you're going to have to pay a fixed fee of $2 per month, right? And then six times whatever you use, right? And we're telling you at the end of your month, this bill was uh, $26. So how many uh, minutes did you use or something like that, right? So here's the constant, the number all by itself on the side with the variable, right? So we work with this number. You see it's positive two, so we add it to negative two. We always want this to become zero, all right? Notice my plus signs, please put plus signs. That cancels out. And just like in a one step, this drops down, but with the coefficient of six y. So six y is equal to 24. This is a DSSM, all right? Now, step two of a two-step equation is to, uh, if we go back up to our notes, uh, move the coefficient um, or isolate the variable by dividing. So we divide by six, divide by six, we don't add. So the first step is gonna be like adding, and the second step usually is gonna be dividing or multiplying. All right, so six divided by six is one, so it cancels out, and I get y is equal to 24 divided by six, they're both positive, so four. And now if I wanted to check, I can just plug back in 6y plus 2 is equal to 26. This is a question mark. Does it really? So 6 parentheses 4 plus 2 is equal to 26. What does this give us? 6 times 4 is 24 plus 2 is equal to 26. Is that a true statement? Is 24 plus 2 equal to 26? Yes, yes it is. It's a true statement. If it's a true statement, you know you have your answer. What you solved, why, if you plug back in. That's the end of part one.